Okay, so the first thing we want to talk about today is an extension of binomial coefficients called the multinomial coefficients. It's really a very elementary concept, but still a, quite an important one. So the problem that we want to consider is how many different rearrangements of those letters, two A's, three B's, uh, I think there's uh, six C's, one D, six E's, and eight F's. Okay, so now, uh, no skipping. You have to use all the letters, but the intent here clearly is that there are three B's and you can't tell the difference between them. So the question is how many? And the answer is given by this multinomial coefficient, which uses a notation that's similar to the binomial coefficient. You write the information in between two large parentheses. And in this case, there are 26 letters altogether. And the types are size 2, 3, 1, 6, 6, and 8. And so the answer is 26 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 1 factorial, etc. All right, now where does that answer come from? So let's just think about it together, and you'll see that it's really very easy to, to obtain that answer. So if I were to mark the letters and pretend that I could tell the difference between, for example, the three Bs. So there's B1, there's B2, and B3. So if all the letters were distinct, well, the number of permutations of 26 objects is 26 factorial. So that explains the numerator. Now, why are we dividing by a term like 3 factorial in the denominator? And the explanation is the obvious one. There are three Bs. And I really, at the end of the day, cannot tell the difference between them. So when the first one is in the first position, and the second one is in the second position, and the third one is in the third position, I cannot tell the difference between that arrangement and any of the six different ways to permute three objects. And so in, for each of the letters, I have to divide by a factorial, which simply counts the number of ways those letters can be positioned within the entire string. And I, I comment at the bottom, uh, over the years, this, this kind of problem has become the Mississippi problem. Because often in elementary texts, that's the question that's asked. How many different rearrangements can you make from the letters in Mississippi? And the answer would be, all right, now let's do it together. How many letters in Mississippi altogether? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So the numerator would be 11 factorial. And what would the denominator be? Four factorial for the S's. Four factorial for the I's, two factorial for the P's, and one factorial for the M. And four plus four plus two plus one is 11. So that accounts for all the letters. Clear? Okay. A binomial coefficient is a multinomial coefficient. So Given a multinomial coefficient where there's only two parts, you could write it, for example, in the form 26 on the top and then 7, 19 on the bottom. But we've already introduced the binomial coefficient, 26 to 7, and we don't write the other part, the 19. So even though you could use this optional notation, don't do it. When it's a multinomial coefficient that's really a binomial, and there's only two parts, just write the one. Otherwise, you will confuse the reader, namely me, like crazy. 